Hey guys, it's Alicia from Chalk with Chip. These boards I got on, on Amazon. They are 12 by 12 square boards that you can purchase on Amazon. I have a supplier there. Message me if you are interested in knowing who the supplier is. But I stain these different colors and I am using my miter saw to create my pieces. So on these 12 by 12s, I've learned that the 12 by 12 cuts to put um, on the edge for the frame are going to be good for the top and bottom, like so. Hopefully you can see that okay. And I got a lot of shadows because it is evening here. And then these pieces in between, I cut them 10 and 3 quarters and they seem to be just fine. They fit well there. They fit well here and so what I'm going to do with with this now that I know that this is the measurement that I want I'm going to be cutting a lot of 12 pieces 12 inches and then a lot of 10 and 3 quarter inches because I believe you do lose an eighth of an inch when you cut straight on your wood so you want to make sure you allow for that I did cut some extra pieces thinking that that would help but it's not uh, enough so my next step is I'm going to be taking my nailer and I'm going to be nailing these pieces together here and here and on the opposite sides as well. And then when that's done, I'll be flipping this frame over, flipping the, this board on its back and then I will be doing, I will be nailing the back to this frame. So I'll show that in another video, but I just, on this video, I just wanted to share with you my measurements for a, for a 12 by 12 board, the 12 inch piece and a 10 and 3 quarter piece. When you cut them, they work really well as far as fitting that board. I'm getting ready to nail this. I've already nailed the other sides, but I'm just going to add another nail here for your purposes so that you can see what I am doing with this brad nailer. Then I'm just going to get this lined up and I'm gonna pull the trigger Just like that and you're gonna see there's gonna be two spots there you can use staples or you can use the the nails that's okay but that's kind of like what your frame ends up looking like and it's just square I didn't miter the edges which means I didn't do the 45 degrees here just did square then I'm gonna take my board and I'm gonna lay my front side down like this on top of this and then I'm going to nail these pieces together here. So let's see if we can get this square. Just like so. And then I should bring my stand out here so that you can see what I'm doing, but all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do one nail here and then finish it and I'll send a picture when I'm done. So I'm going to nail it here. This is in. I'm going to nail another one here. And that one's like right on the edge, but that's okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing around the outside edges of this frame, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I just wanted to share that I have go gone ahead and I've put the nails in there. I used the big nails. These big nails, I think they're one and a half, uh, 18 gauge nails in my DeWalt air nailer, and that's to put the corners in because you need the longer nails to go through two pieces of wood. So this is my practice board because I've had to learn a lot of um, measurements on how to do the corners and it's a little beat up because I missed some marks on the nailers but I'm learning and I'm learning that the smaller brad nails are what I need for the back side because I left the big ones in there and I accidentally went all the way through so 
you want to change those out. This is on an air compressor. So Jerry's got an air compressor in the garage and so I was able to hook that up and then um, you know use this with the, the power. So anyway, that's what I have. I hope this inspires you to make your own boards. This took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but I think once I get the hang of it, it'll be a lot better.